This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is 120 volt and 240 volt PSE blower motor speeds, wire colors, electrical resistance readings, and current readings, and how these motors are affected when you have restricted airflow in your duct. So we're going to be going over that coming up. Here we have a 120 volt furnace control board and this right here is a four speed blower motor. So anytime you have a 120 volt blower motor, you're gonna have a white wire and that's gonna be your common wire right here and that's connected to the common neutral bar. And right over here, you see we have a black wire on cool, a red wire on heat, and then you have two wires, uh, blue and a yellow on spare. Now you may not have any spares on the board and it may just be connected just like this with a connector so that the end is not shorting out in the ground frame. But if you wanna know what speed each of these wires are, there's a way to determine that if you don't have a wiring diagram for the furnace or this is a new blower motor, especially when the band is covering the, the rating. So there's usually a picture up here that will show you the speeds of each one of these wires. So if we wanted to change one of the speeds, such as the heat speed, in this case, red is actually the lowest fan speed typically. So if we wanted to change that out, maybe because the furnace is overheating and we wanted to change it up to a higher speed, we would just basically do this switch right here like that. But first we really need to know what speed each of these wires are. So let's go over and determine that. In order to determine the speeds, we need to have our multimeter set on electrical resistance and our white wire is our common, so we need to have one probe in the white wire. Since this is a 120 volt PSE blower motor, we're going to check the electrical resistance between the white wire and each one of these color wires. So our first electrical resistance reading on the white to black is four ohms. White to yellow is 4.8 ohms. White to blue, 5.8 ohms and white to red, 7.1 ohms. So our highest electrical resistance reading is the slowest fan speed. And so that means that this pair should be also the lowest current reading. And so our lowest electrical resistance reading between black and white is our highest speed. So that means that that should be the highest current reading. And so, so this is the highest speed, this is the second from highest speed, this is second from lowest, and this is lowest speed. And so we're also gonna go ahead and plug this in and take our current readings now, and I also am gonna show you what happens when we restrict the airflow on the side here as if we have a restricted duct. I also wanted to briefly discuss, since we check the resistance value between each of these pairs and we do have a resistance value, we can check between any one of these and ground in order to determine if the blower motor is shorted. In this case, we're reading OL, which means that it is not shorted. If you had any type of resistance reading here, that would be bad. And we can also check between these capacitor wires and ground. And you can see that we're measuring OL, so this blower motor is intact and good. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're going to check our current readings. Make sure that anytime you're getting ready to take a current measurement, you already have your clamp in place and your hands away when you go to turn the power on. So here we go, we're gonna test the lowest speed right here and measure our electrical current. So our lower speed measures 5.5 amps. Our second from lowest speed, which is our blue wire, is measuring 6.7 amps. Our second from highest speed is measuring 8.1 amps. And our black wire, which is our highest speed, is measuring about 10 amps, so 9.7. Now let me show you what happens when we have it on our highest speed, but we restrict some of the airflow. So now we're going to watch and see what happens to the current on the high speed when we restrict the airflow on the side of this blower motor.
So what you saw was even though we have our highest speed, our current lowered, even lower than our red wire, which is our lowest fan speed. So while it was happening, the noise increased and the blower wheel was spinning faster, but that was because there was less air molecules in there as far as the restriction on the blower motor. So that blower wheel's spinning faster, less air is being moved, less current is being drawn. So this tells us that if we have an airflow restriction in our duct, our blower motor is not going to be able to push more air. In fact, it's going to be pushing less air. Now we're going to move on to our 240 volt blower motor to check the resistance value and current readings. Anytime you're working with a 240 volt blower motor and you have multiple speeds, you need to first determine which one is your common wire and then which ones are your speeds. In order to do that, you need to look over at your capacitor and find which one of the wires is the brown with the white stripe. And so we're going to put our alligator clip right on the brown with white stripe. And so we have a resistance value of OL right now. We're set on ohms and we're going to test each one of these uh, color wires. So right here you see that we're measuring 0.1 ohm. So that's what you're looking for. That's the common wire because if we check these right here, you're going to have a higher resistance value. So you see 9.6, 16.8, 17.8, 13.8. So we've identified that this one right here is directly connected in the blower motor to that brown slash white one because we have 0.1 ohms. So that's it. So, so we could either leave the probe there because we know that these two are the same basically or we could go ahead and take this and put it right here in the in the yellow wire. Now in order to determine which one is the lowest speed and which one's the highest speeds we're going to check our resistance values here. So yellow to black is 9.6, yellow to blue, 13.8, and yellow to red is 16.8. So that means that when we power this with 240 volts between yellow and black is going to be our highest speed. If we power it with uh, 240 volts between yellow and blue, that's going to be our medium speed. And then yellow to red is going to be our lowest speed. Because we've checked the resistance value between these pairs right here, if we were to check to make sure that this motor was not shorted, all we have to do is have one probe in the yellow wire, and then we can come right over to the motor and just make sure that it says, oh well. And since this yellow wire is connected to this brown, we don't have to check that one. And then we can just check from here to here on the other brown wire. And once again, we read, oh well, so this motor is not shorted. Now we're going to go ahead and power this and check our current readings on each of these speeds. So we have our multimeter set on amperage in order to measure our current and we're clamped around the common wire so that's one of the two 120 volt legs. And then our other 120 volt leg is right over here. So 120 and 120 so we have 240 volts in and now we're going to go ahead and power this and check our current. So our lowest fan speed is reading 2.8 amps. Our medium speed is measuring 3.05 amps. And our highest fan speed is measuring 3.8 amps. Now I want to point out that we have a much lower value than on our 120 volt blower motor. That's because we've got double the voltage. So that means we should have half the current. And so that's why our current, instead of it being near 6, is near 3. And so that's how you determine which speeds each of the color wires are for a 240 volt blower motor. Always make sure that if you're ever reading your current with your multimeter, make sure to have this in place before you turn the power on for safety. So I hope this video helped and if you want to learn more about blower motors such as ECM multi-speed and ECM variable speed blower motors, I have other videos linked down in the description section below. I also have some articles on blower motors over their website at acservicetech.com, so make sure you check those out, as well as the other free resources at our site, such as the quizzes and the calculators and the quick tips, and also our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.